Greetings. Welcome to the ride. I'm afraid I can't promise you any scantily clad caricatures on the floor where you're headed. That was a cheap marketing trick used to get you to pick the dairy products floor. I mean, really, who would pick dairy products for a game? Anyway, how many contestants are there? Ah, three. I hope we don't go over our weight capacity. Is this the first time on the ride for any of you? Back for more punishment, are you? Oh, just kidding. We all love you here. Player one, may I have your name, please? Yes, thank you. What about your name, player two? Good, thank you. And now it's player three's turn. Okay, that's fine. Here are the keys you will be using to buzz in. And hey, good luck! <laughs> Oh, I have to cut down on dairy. So bad for my throat. It's time for the show where high culture and pop culture collide. You Don't Know Jack is brought to you by Lactose John's Ladies of the Evening. Come to eat, uh, meet our girls. And now here's your host, the one, the only, Cookie. It's a pleasure to see you. You know, I think we're going to have a good game here. It's going to be just like butter. Okay, gang, here's your screws. Okay, remember to be a cold-hearted bastard with these screws. You want to hit the F key and don't stop. Well, I hope you took your lactate. We're taking a ride on the Milky Way. Okay, player one, pick a winner. Hey, can't be too disappointed with that. Here's your category. Dairy, dairy, I need your hugging. Here we go. If you wanted to use real butter to butter up your lover, which of the following should you say? Your eyes are blue as the Lando Lakes. You're the best ever. I promise. You're stacked like a country crock. Or, I can't believe it's not butter. Up to you, player three. It's like real butter. So kiss and make up, but remember, keep those sticks wrapped. It's up to you, player three. Hit your buzzer to select a value. Okay, give it up for... Dairy Fresh Rock and Roll. Guess the magic number here is 3565. Could be your lucky number. Let's find out. What dairy treat might you expect to be served in a white room with black curtains near the station? Ice milk, cream, yogurt, or custard? All your player one, who you want to screw? You got to answer it, player three, one, two, three, or four. You snooze, you lose. <laughs> Player one, player two, who's taking it? All right, let's take a look at the right answer. White Room is a hit by Eric Clapton's old band, Cream. I tell you, this guy Clapton is in a whole dairy aisle by himself. Player one, it's up to you, snag it. We're calling this one. Are Cracker Jacks kosher? You know how sportscaster Harry Carey always shouted, HOLY COW! Well, if Harry Carey said holy cow because he believed cows to be sacred, what religion did he probably practice? Hinduism, Buddhism, Islam, or Judaism? Player two, grab it! Nice. Cows are considered sacred by Hindus, especially when they hit home runs. HOLY COW! HOLY COW! Okay, player two, what's this one gonna be worth? This one's called... No thanks, I'll just spread some vomit on a cracker. And now, the question. Suppose a group of dairy farmers are having their company photo taken. Instead of, say cheese, what should the photographer say to get them to smile? Say pasteurized blocks of yeast. Say pressed and matured milk curd. Say non-lactose oxygenation process. Or, say hormone-altering cow injections. Player one, hit it. Pressed and matured milk curd. 
But if you really want these farmers to smile, just put a teat in each of their hands. Oh, hey, that's a, that's a what are you doing? Get your hands off that holy teat! Holy cow! Player one. Okie doke, let's check out the category. I'll whip your cream and beat your eggs, too. Hey, you were a kid once, right? Well, you've surely heard the phrase, last one ends a rotten egg. Well, if the last major fighting nation to enter into World War II were a rotten egg, which country would smell like sulfur? Italy, France, Russia, or the United States? Take a shot, player two. We stink. We didn't join the war until 1941. That's why we're known as the land of milk and nanny nanny boo boo. Here's your category. I get soggy in milk. Hey, you know how nations are always boycotting the Olympics for one reason or another? Well, say the Olympic Village serves cold cereal for breakfast. Because its athletes are more likely to be lactose intolerant, what country will most likely boycott the breakfast? Brazil, Japan, the United States, or Sweden? Two, who do you want to screw? You're screwed, player one. Give me an answer. One, two, three, or four. Four. Okay, let's see it. The Swedes? Are you kidding? They, like, suckle straight from the cow's teat up there. Player two, player three. Who wants it? Well, what do we have here? Asians are more likely than any other ethnic group to be lactose intolerant. But given the choice between soy milk and sushi on my Wheaties, I'll take the fish. Player one, buzz in and choose a value for us. Could I interest you in some roadkill? Okay, be the first to smack your buzzer when you see the item that correctly connects the two things on the screen. And that bonus question at the end could mean even more cash. All right, put it in gear, we're going. Normal dance party and Zany Redhead Lucille, what unites these two? The cards are dealt and applause. Female elephant and lick in your hair. Score. Lady holder and show blank. Fish covering and series of musical notes. Trick and symbol high blank. Deals with the fly in your soup and dump blank. Score. Let's nab that bonus. What do all the correct answers have in common? Are they all things that contain milk? Items found in a warehouse. Did you tap? It's all about you, player two. Here's a tip for you. Don't get all hopped up on Twinkies, okay? You'll thank me later. Player two, you got the lead. Player two, pick us a question. I like to call this category... Little Jack Horner got a better meal. Hey, remember that old nursery rhyme went something like this? Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet eating her curds and whey. So tell me, what the hell is whey? The liquid part of coagulated milk, mold scraped off an aged cheese, the stomach lining of a calf, or pudding skin. Player three, make it happen. Way to go! Next, we'll figure out what the hell her tough it is. 
Whey is the watery part that separates from the solid milk curds when making cheese. I like mine in a rocks glass with vodka. Player three, select the value. Okay, you got something. Here's what we're looking at. Mount Olympus could have used a Starbucks. So, you want to see the question? Yeah, me too. Here we go. So tell me, which of these is not a half and half? A centaur, a harpy, a cyclops, or the minotaur? Player two, grab it! I think I'll be taking my coffee black from now on. A cyclops is just a big old guy with one eye in the middle of his forehead. Player two, what's this one gonna be? Good pick, player two. Okay, player one, player three, get the hell out of here. Player two, it's time for Dis or Dad. And this Dis or Dad question's category is, with a little effort, you can show up at the same time. Okay, listen up, because I'm going to read off seven words. And for each one, I want you to tell me if it's a word that begins with chicken or a word that begins with egg. You're gonna get some money for each right answer, and you lose cash for a wrong answer or any you don't get to. Okay, you have 30 seconds to get all of them. And here we go. Fire, chicken or egg? Pad! Peter! Liver! Six right. Not quite perfect, but you can't get any closer. Let's throw it into your score. Player two's our leader. Okay, here we go. Player one, you have... Coming up. Crying over spilled milk. Hey, remember that 70s court case in San Francisco where the murderer got a reduced sentence for saying he was hopped up on junk food when he did the crime? Well, considering the famous defense used in the case, who would have been the most appropriate defense lawyer for the murderer of politician Harvey Milk? Twinkie the Kid, Susie Q, King Ding Dong, or Little Debbie? Player one! Twinkie the Kid? Well, yeah, I guess it was known as the Twinkie defense. Maybe he can lasso as a judge who knows a just ruling from his, uh, snowballs. Player one, hit your buzzer and select a value for the next question. Your category is... This used to be Sean Penn's playground. Okay, play ball. Say Madonna used a hand pump to get her breast milk flowing before feeding her baby. Which of her songs would best describe this process? Open your heart, express yourself, justify my love, or into the groove. Player three, do it. Mothers can express breast milk by using a hand pump. But how she got milk out of them cone-shaped boobs, I'll never know. Well, it's highly unlikely I will. Player three, what's this one worth to you? Buzz in and choose a value. Sorry, here's your clue. McDonald had a farm. Yeah, so we've heard. Quit bragging about his damn farm already. I hate that guy.
player one, does the word annihilation mean anything to you? Yes, sir? Get in here. Is there a problem, sir? Look, Johnson, I'm not gonna sit here and blow sunshine up your ass. <laughs> oh, I will. <laughs> Who are you? How the hell'd you get in here? I'm the Sunshine Pixie, and I'm here to tell you that Sunshine Suppositories are the perfect pick-me-up when life has got you down. Here, try one. What the? Oh. Oh. See what I mean, Sunshine? Johnson, put your pants back on. Oh, calm down, Mr. Pouty Puss. Here. Hey! <laughs> Hey! See? Sunshine suppository sweeten your disposition in a snap. Uh, what was it that you wanted to see me about, boss? Uh, forget it. You're doing a great job. Thanks. Sunshine suppositories, spread your cheeks for a little sunshine today. This is for my Baptist minister, who instilled in me at a very young age the evils of alcohol, tobacco, and firearms. This is for the kids at school, who by refusing my friendship, Force me to adapt and infiltrate any and all social cliques. This is for my older brother, whose bad taste in music gave me a CD collection large enough to drive any person under siege insane. I'm proud to be an officer for the ATF. We raid more homes and violate more constitutional rights by 9 a.m. than most criminals do in a day. The ATF, keeping our country In other news, three out of five celebrities agree that war is bad. Learn more tonight. So you think you know sous chef? You and your other yope spawn friends think you know sous chef? Well, you don't know sushi at all, not a wee bloody bet. Oh, oh, you can sit in your fancy $70 a plate sushi cafes and impress your other human scabby friends and order California roll and think you're the sheep's wool. Well, you're nothing. You're sushi juniors and you make me sick. So from now on, you order sushi the real way, the proper way. You get McLeod sushi or you don't eat it at all. McLeod's only uses real haggis. None of this simpy wimpy fish snot. 
We only use haggis. Good Scottish men's haggis. And if you know it's good for you, you'll eat it too. So stop being a baby doll freak loser and leave that hair mousse alone because you're eating McLeod sushi from now on. I must have seen mortgage 50 times already, and I'm back for more. I've never personally dealt with the pain of a foreclosure, but up there on stage with the singing and the dancing, mortgage makes it seem so real. I thought my kids' problems with ADD were something I had to hide, but it was so empowering to see that soccer mom fight. My child doesn't listen. My child cannot sleep. Doped up on Ritalin. He always makes me weep. He cannot concentrate. He tries to masturbate. I'd pay 15% plus 50 points to see Mortgage again. I mean, just think about it. Pot-smoking teens, philandering husbands, mothers addicted to painkillers. Eh, it's got everything. Mortgage is the true suburbia. It's not every day you see a couple from two different tax brackets suffering from chronic fatigue syndrome. Find true love. I love the tax assessor. Drive the babysitter home. Will my hand begin to roam? Can't be more than sweet 16. Don't worry, we won't be my appraisal, I give it a prime rate. I'm just glad they left the ending open for a second mortgage. Mortgage, the musical everyone's talking about. Playing at a community theater near you.